My name's Josh Earl. Welcome to Spicks and Specs, the music quiz show whose papa was a Rolling Stone. Or well, sorry, my mum says, but I'm pretty sure it was just one of their roadies. <laughs> Can you please welcome your two team captains? She's my cherry pie. It's Ella Hooper. Oh. And he's been known to make a grown man cry. It's Adam Richard. <laughs> Ella's first team member tonight is a musician, a broadcaster and a journalist who once made an omelette for hip-hop's Dizzy Rascal. Don't push him if he's close to the eggs. It's the singer from Blue Juice, it's Jake Stone. <laughs> Ella's second team member is a comedian who once did a gig in a prison and the ticket prices were outrageous. Four cigarettes. Oh. <laughs> Can you please welcome all the way from Scotland, it's Kevin Bridges. <laughs> now on to Adam's first team member tonight. In Fiji, in New Zealand, she was born and raised, studying violin in Boston with Donna Delay. She's now with the MSO, where she's acting all cool, just playing some concerts and theatres and schools. It's the fresh princess of Bolero. It's Wilma Smith. <laughs> Adam's final team member is an Irish comedian who had a pet finding detective agency when he was only nine years old. So that would make him Sherlock Lost Dogs Holmes. Oh. <laughs> Please welcome David O'Doherty. <laughs> coming tonight. Now, Wilma, you are the concert master for the MSO. Correct. What's a concert master? Concert master. <laughs> Funny yeah. you should ask. Uh, well, look, it's not as severe as it sounds, <laughs> although I have been known to be severe, but um, it's basically a lead violinist. So the violin, they're the top then, is it? If you're the concert master, violin's the most important? No, no, no? Don't, don't tell that to the violinist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh no one talks to the violinist. <laughs> They, well, they play the tunes a lot of the time and they sit on the outside of the orchestra Ooh. usually and it's, it just happens to be the person who's on the conductor's left side and we do a lot of hand shaking. You know, I sh have to shake hands with the conductors and the soloists. Is that because your section in the, the string section, unlike the wind and the brass section, there's not as much spit? <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of saliva in the yeah, yeah, <laughs> instruments. It, it, it's disgusting the further back you go. <laughs> I like to, whenever I'm watching an orchestra, I like to imagine everyone's playing a violin but the double bass player is just really, really small. <laughs> <laughs> but you've also played with rock bands. You've been yes, you've played well, with Kiss. Well, the MSO has do, does, yeah. does quite a lot of those kinds of gigs. Kiss and Sting. And Sting. And Meatloaf. Oh! oh. oh. What is behind the hand of that? Meatloaf? Oh. Well, that wasn't one of my favourite gigs. Oh. What, what was that? Well, he's not very nice. <laughs> and, and, and he's not very good. He's not very good. <laughs> He sounds edible, but he's not. Yeah. <laughs> when you played with Meatloaf, he had some a weird request of you oh. in particular. Well, he wanted a violin smashed. I don't. Oh. I look. I can't even remember what song it was in. But I said to our management, "No way. You yeah. know, he's not worth it." <laughs> <laughs> you said, "I'll do anything for love, but I won't do that." So, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get into round one. Your choices tonight are electronica, rumba. Grindcore and great composers. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> uh, Ella, you can choose first. Uh, what about electronic? Are you uh, Blue Juice was a sort of hip hop outfit. Before Don't even say. You, you say it like that. that. It sounds as bad as it actually was. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore that period of the past. Ignoring his on. dirty hip hop roots. Let's go with that. Yeah. Do I have a say in this? Yeah, yeah. 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 It just said Ella and Adam. So how is that supposed to make me feel? Uh, <laughs> what do you, what do you reckon? <laughs> um, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Electronica. Electronica <laughs> for Ella's team. Adam, your team? Well, I, I really want to choose Grindcore, but... <laughs> what is Grindcore? It would frighten you. Uh, <laughs> so we'll go Great Composers. Great Composers for you. OK, we will start with Electronica. Everyone, hands on your buzzers. Let's play Spicks and Specs. Your first question for one point. Which Sydney electronic duo said that their four-letter name should rhyme with Meow? <laughs> yes, Ella's team. Meow. It is Pinow. Yes, <laughs> Pinow. <laughs> Question, have a listen to this pioneering electronica work from 1970. For the two points, name the classical piece and the new electronic instrument it was played on. Uh, yes, Ella's team. Well, is it Flight of the Bumblebee? It is Flight of the Bumblebee, yes. And what was the instrument? And I 
assume it's a synthesizer. I, yeah, what kind I though? It was a Moog. It is uh, the Moog mm. synthesizer. Well done, two out of two. <laughs> Have a look at these photos and for three points, name the electro acts beneath the head uh, here. Yes, ooh, Jake, you're very good. Daft Punk. Yep. Dead Mouth 5. Dead Mouse. Dead Mouse, Dead mouse yes. <laughs> and Devo. And Devo, you uh, are correct. Three out of three. In 2008, McDonald's released a Happy Meal toy that looked suspiciously like Devo's trademark Energy Dome hats. But who at McDonald's would even think about stealing. S Hamburg <laughs> <laughs> There were, um, there were photos recently in the press of Daft Punk because they always play in their um, helmets and one of them is now added to the lit long list of people who look a bit like me. Oh. Yeah, because... Which is it was added to the list of Jaws era Steven Spielberg, uh, Chris O'Dowd and a retired Belgian tennis player from the 70s. <laughs> and Alf's company. I look a bit like Alf. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I hate cats. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jake, you guys earlier this year played the Big Day Out. Yeah, that's right. That's where right. we got a photo of you guys at the Big Day Out. Yes! So, I heard you broke your leg on stage. Well, it wasn't on stage. It was like after a gig, basically. My friend Martin, he was he liked to party a lot, and we had done a show in Brisbane. Everyone was getting really dry. There was a lot of injuries after this particular gig. Yep. Uh, and we all went out to celebrate, and it ended up getting we were just getting hammered. Bro. It's like, and, uh, is that like the MSO? It's well? a lot like the MSO. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Same deal, right? And uh, anyway, we were in the club and Martin thought that he would put on Warren G's Regulate and then just oh tackle me out of nowhere. And he weighed at the time significantly more than me. So he broke my leg. Last tackle. Like it just snapped clean in two. Oh. And uh, we didn't actually even get to the hospital until midway through the next day. And we did a show that night. Oh. Oh. So, was that before or after you'd wrote the song Broken Leg? That was the part of the reason why that song got written. So you got a song out of it. So that's yeah. good. Yeah. That's and then four weeks later, I broke my hand. Oh. So. I'm worried that you're not getting enough calcium. Yeah. I, think time, I, think, I genuinely think at the time I wasn't. Have you got a, so a song called Broken Leg? I do, yeah. And that was only part of the reason why you wrote it. Was <laughs> A metaphor, Kevin. Oh, it's a metaphor, it's a, metaphor. Or a broken arm. <laughs> Kevin, did Noel Gallagher just call you out of the blue? Is that true? Noel Gallagher, yes, that's true. I was just sitting in my mate's house one night. We were playing the PlayStation and I get a text, but the, the contact wasn't saved. It was just a number, yep. so I was obviously a bit sceptical. And it said, yes, Kevin Bridges, Noel Gallagher here. Give me a call when you get a second. So... I had a second, I was ready to yeah. call back straight away, but <laughs> it would be a bit needy, so I thought I'd, I'd just speak to him, we paused the game, obviously, <laughs> and uh, I had to look, get a bit of no, advice from my mate, and he said, I'll give it five, ten minutes, but I'm just sitting staring at the phone, and I just called him back, <laughs> and he said, oh, bloody hell, you must be busy, and mm. that was quite quick, and I was like, oh, shit, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately thinks I'm a loser, and he said that uh, Roger Daltrey gave... Gave him my number. So it's probably like the coolest conversation I've ever heard on the phone. <laughs> so I, I sort of panicked. It's, I mean, it's the lead singer of BDI's brother on the phone. <laughs> and, uh, I, I never said that to him. He was looking if I could do a charity gig, and uh, it was actually last week, so I had to say no, I'm in Australia oh, on tour. So man. I turned down Noel Gallagher to appear on Specs and Specs. Which Who's is needy a, a now, Noel Gallagher? <laughs> No, it was to see if I did this benefit show, so I had, to, I had to turn him down. But we kept in touch. He's a big musical hero of mine. And uh, hopefully I'll meet him when I go back, as soon as I land at Heathrow, <laughs> when I get a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> I brought you back a boomerang, no. How you doing? <laughs> OK, we'll move on to great composers. Everyone, oh. hands on your buzzers. <clears throat> your first question for one point. Have a listen to this piece by Bach and name it. Yes, Adam's team. It's, it's air, air, on air, on air on a G string. You are correct, yes. Air on the G string, yes. <laughs> Next question for two points. According to a recent mathematical study, which number on 66 of Beethoven's music manuscripts is probably wrong and which of his possessions was blamed for the mistake? <laughs> yes. This Four side. and an abacus. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good guess. Not right. Uh, oh, oh. Metronome. It number. was the metronome. Metronome mark. And what does the metronome? The tempo. Tempo. There you go. Yes, it is. His metronome and the tempo marking. <laughs> the mathematicians looked at it and 
Because it's too hard to play. Mm. They thought he's metronome because it was a very early prototype metronome. Right. It was we'll a crickus. He used to just bring it. <laughs> we'd get cold and somebody would go, why is this slowing down or speeding up? Whatever they do. Finally, here are three 20th century composers. For three points, match Schoenberg, Reich and Debussy with the genres that they pioneered. Impressionist music, 12-tone and minimalism. Yes, Adam's team. Uh, Schoenberg was 12-tone, wasn't he? Well done, Yes, Adam. he was, yes. Mm -hmm. Debussy was impressionist. You are yes. correct. It was very... Uh, floral. <laughs> <laughs> Which leaves Reich as minimalism. That is correct. Three <laughs> out of three. Well done, yes. <laughs> OK, at the end of the first round, the scores are Adam, Wilmer and David on six points and Ella, Jake and Kevin are also on six points. Yeah. <laughs> round two is called Look What They've Done To My Song Ma. Teams have to listen to the songs being played here live and buzz in when they know it. And tonight your song's being played live by the Melbourne Scar Orchestra. Yeah. First song when you're ready, guys. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Lollipop. It is my boy lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> right, little mini small. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> Next song when you're ready, guys. <laughs> Team buzzed in. What was that one? It's the theme from Get Smart. You are correct. <laughs> 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 Adam's team buzzed in. Yeah. Yeah. I watch too much television. Okay, next one when you're ready. <laughs> Out of my head. Oh. <laughs> I'll throw it over if you guys don't know. Uh, Do you guys? It, is it Empire State of Mind? It is Empire Alicia State of Mind. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Jay Z, Alicia Keys. I think we all have our favourite member of the Melbourne Sky Orchestra, but mine is certainly the guy on bongos who looks like he's in a disguise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the final song, guys. <laughs> You know what to do. Is it called one, two, you know what to do? <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? No. That's my favourite song, but you guys. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Okay, and the final song, please, guys. <laughs> Yes, Ella's team. Song 2 by Blur. You are correct. Ah! Song 2 by Blur. She's incredible at this. <laughs> Can you please thank the Melbourne Scar Orchestra? Yeah. Pack it all down. So at the end of that round, the scores are Adam, Wilmer and David on eight points, but in the leader, Ella, Jake and Kevin on nine points. Oh. This is a game we call Do You See What I See? Each team will be given a set of images which, when read correctly, will reveal the name of a popular song. Ella's team, you get to go first. And here is your first one. Tell me what you see. Right. Ooh. Um, <laughs> Jessica Rowe. Jessica Rowe. Row, row, row. Your boat. Yes, there you go. <laughs> row, 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 your boat. That was all her. Exactly. You could have picked a more boat-looking boat, actually. Yeah, <laughs> that more... was the red herring. It is a U-boat, so row, 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 U-boat. U-boat. Oh, I even we are above my head there. <laughs> OK, Adam's team, here is your first one. Right. What do you see? A truck and Charmed oh, yeah. and a Life magazine. Who are Charmed? Oh, Charmed is like a show about witches. Oh. <laughs> Shannon With Doherty. Shannon Doherty and... Oh, oh fine. Oh, it's a semi-trailer. Yes. So it's Semi Charmed Life. Yes, Semi Charmed <laughs> Life by Third Eye Blind. Well done. Oh, yay. Ellen's team, here is your second one. What song do you see? The mice, that, that, they look visually impaired, so that's three blind mice for <laughs> Wheat, and that's Lord on the end there, so yeah. uh, is it? Sweet corn? Three blind my mice. Sweet. My sweet Lord. <laughs> my sweet Lord. <laughs> yes, my sweet Lord. Oh, my sweet Lord. <laughs> My Sweet Lord by George Harrison. Okay, Adam's team, here's your second one. What right. song do you see? Um, there's a bar, there's George W. Bush and a, oh, and a Volkswagen. A Beetle. Uh, something yeah. Beetle. Oh, I'll, I'll go uh, a bit We're nearly time. there, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Kate Bush is making a comeback. Is it Barbushka? You Bar are correct, oh. David O'Donnelly. Oh. Yeah. Barbushka. He was wrong. Okay, Ella's team, here's your third one. What song do you see? <laughs> or, it's another rowing song? Or, or Handsome Guy Drink. Is that Pacino down the bottom? It is Pacino down the bottom. Confession. Who are these two guys? Thorn. Who is that? Is that guy, the guy from Days of Our Lives? Yeah, or yeah. One of them shows. Or one of those, Young and the Restless. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Uh, don't drink and row. Or you may have, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You may have or, to confess it. Say that loud. Or Thorn, Gin, Alsin. That's not a song. What? <laughs> They're so close. Original Sin. Original Sin, oh, but in a sense. Thank you. Ella, I'll talk it through. So that's an or, and that's yeah. Ridge from Rolling the Beautiful. And can I just say I've never heard the song Original Sin. But in excess. It just sounds like a song. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now Adam's team, here is your third one. What do you see? There's a pan. <laughs> What is the Ow. Come on. The second thing. The yeah. second thing is stars at night time, I think. AU is the chemical gold. Sim symbol for gold. Okay. And that's Eric Banner. Gold. Oh. oh. Eric Gold uh, Banner. The. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it's yep. the stars Star pan, pan gold, gold banner. banner. It is. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, the American oh, finally discovered what my one true talent is. <laughs> it has no practical applications in the world. <laughs> At the end of that round, the scores are Adam, Wilmer and David on 11 points, but in the lead still are Ella, Jake and Kevin on 12 points. Oh. <laughs> round four is called View from a Fridge. We'll bring in our fridge covered in word magnets and you have 45 seconds to unjumble them and reveal four famous song titles. Only the correct combination will use all the words. Now, Kevin, you want to be unjumbling for Jake and Ella, so please come over to the fridge. <laughs> the 
you go. Just before you start, we'll see what's in the fridge today. Oh, we have a we have a Beck beer. Oh, oh. yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we'll put that in there. Is we'll... that uh, plastic food we've got as well? It's the ABC. Shush. OK. <laughs> and here are your words and your time starts now. Uh, okay, um, oh, Donald wheels your balls. Great, <laughs> balls. Oh, great balls of fire. fire. So get great balls of fire going. Well, I get Donald wheels your trousers no, first. No, <laughs> yes. no. time for gag. Great balls of fire. Donald wheels Don your trousers. Thousands. There we go. Nice. Then great balls of fire, you said. What else? There, there we go. Underneath hand your clothes. OK, listen to that. Hand in pocket, Will's hand. Well, there is no hand, damn it. Um, and, no, there's hand. My there's hand. Oh, One hand, hand in my pocket. Hand in pocket. Right. Uh, and then underneath, my, underneath, underneath, my, underneath your, my, clothes. your clothes. That's by Shakira. So it's got to be hand underneath in my pocket. Your or yeah. Hand in my pocket. Yeah. Oh, so close. Well done. Okay, so you got. Donald wears your trousers by Andy Stewart. You also got Great Balls of Fire by Jerry Lee Lewis. You got Underneath Your Clothes by Shakira and... Everybody knows that song called My, surely. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Just for a visit with Kevin, I will give you Hand In My Pocket oh. by Alanis Morissette. Please go up, four out of four. Yeah. That's Kevin. <laughs> OK, David, you'll be unjumbling for Wilma and Adam, so please welcome David O'Doherty. <laughs> Here are your words. You have 45 seconds, you're I'm very... remembering. It's good. Okay. Yeah. And your time starts now. Oh, oh buttered ring. No, that's not a song. <laughs> um, uh, night, night on Bald Mountain. Night on Bald Mountain. Uh, that is a real one. The, OK. Night. Uh, night. Yes. Mountain OK, bald. work on other ones. I'll um, find this. Oh, uh, please move the finger away from I, the What I forgot word. to say was I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> OK, on. next one. Uh, I got Fi the uh, butted finger. There's got to be ring on finger. It's got to be something to do with ring. <laughs> what, uh, what's what's gladiator? What song has got gladiators in the gladiators. title? The oiled gladiator. <laughs> the buttered gladiator. The oiled and buttered gladiators <laughs> ring. <laughs> That's the film oh. I saw once. That's <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> Well, I got ring finger. Does that yeah. mean we can't have it? Oh, time's up. Bad luck. Okay. Stay there. Yes. Oh, my God. The one you got right was uh, Night oh. on Bald Mountain by Masorsky. So, well done from that the film Fantasia. That was so easy. <laughs> it was so easy. <laughs> the other ones you didn't get right were Entry of the Gladiators. Entry by, of the oh, Gladiators. Entry of the Gladiators oh, by Julius Kuchik. That. The other one is a Chuck Mead song called She Got the Ring and I Got the Finger. <laughs> Uh, and the other one is Oiled and Buttered by Paolo Apollo Negri. So, uh, one out of four, but still, we up David O'Doherty, everyone. I'm so sorry. So, after this round, the scores are Adam, Wilmer and David on 12 points, but in the leader, Ella, Jake and Kevin on 16 points. Oh, it's time for the final countdown. Teams, hands on your buzzers. One point for a correct answer, one point off for an incorrect answer. And your questions start now. In her 1985 hit single, what is Grace Jones a slave to? <laughs> yes, the rhythm. the rhythm. The rhythm is correct. Oh, yes. <laughs> In the movie High Society, Bing Crosby and Louis Armstrong sing the duet Now You Has What? <laughs> yes, Adam's team. Swing? Now You Has Jazz. Jazz. Oh, the uh. other one. Have a listen to this and name the song. Labyrinth, come in. Yes, Adam's team. Oh, it's Labyrinth. <laughs> and what's the song called? <laughs> What's the name of it? I, I don't, it was so, er, I, it had barely started. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, no. Don't do you know. get points for oh, that? Okay. Like... Do you know it? Is it Earthquake? It is Earthquake yeah, by yeah. Labyrinth featuring Tiny Temper. Yes, well done. <laughs> In the Dylan song, what kind of tongue is the loving tongue? Oh, yes, yes. Adam's team. Is it Spanish? You are correct, David Adoki. Wow. Spanish tongue, yes. Which of John Farnham's singles features a vacuum cleaner solo? Oh. Yes. Got it, Ella's team. I Sadie the Cleaning Lady? It is oh, okay. Sadie the Cleaning Lady, yes! <laughs> Next question. Which green fruit is featured on the cover of Pearl Jam's self-titled album of 2006? What green fruit? Uh, yes, uh, It's either an apple or a lime. It's neither or of those. It's an avocado. <laughs> <laughs> uh, point of information. An avocado is technically a nut. Kablamo! <laughs> I mean, I hate to pull the ABC up on something here, but <laughs> dear A 
ABC. I was disappointed to be watching Spicks and Specks and they alleged that an avocado is a fruit. <laughs> I think it's actually a legume. So anyway. Uh... <laughs> Next question. In the song, you take the high road and I take the low road, but we never meet at which Scottish lock? <laughs> yes, Elstein. Loch Lomond. Loch Lomond is correct. Yeah. Yes, well done. Yeah. Finally, which Womble of Wimbledon is name-checked in a song by Enya? <laughs> yes, Adam's team. Um, Orinoco. It's got to be Orinoco. It's Orinoco yeah. from Orinoco <laughs> Flow, yes. <laughs> So, at the end of the game, the scores are Adam, Wilmer and David on 13 points. Then our winner, Snyder, Ella, Jake and Kevin on 19 oh. points. <laughs> Would you please thank our guests for tonight? Jake Stone, Kevin Bridges, Wilmer Smith and David O'Doherty. Yeah. And, of course, our two team captains, Ella Hooper and Adam Richard. Yeah. Earlier in the show, we talked about Beethoven's broken metronome. To take us out tonight with a rendition of Ode to Joy where the tempo has been completely thrown out the window, please welcome back the Melbourne Scar Orchestra. Yeah. Thanks for watching Fish and Specs. My name's Josh Earl. We'll see you next week. In 70, for the two points, name the classical piece and the new electronic instrument it was played on. Uh, yes, Ooh. Ella's team. Well, is it Flight of the Bumblebee? It is Flight of the Bumblebee, yeah. yes. And what was the instrument? And I assume it's a synthesizer. I, what yeah, kind, I though? Think it was a Moog. It is a, the Moog mm. synthesizer. Well done, two out of two. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, have a look at these photos and for three points, name the electro axe beneath the headgear. Uh, yes, Ooh, Jake, you're that. very quick. Daft Punk? Yep. Dead Mouth 5. Dead Mouse. Dead Mouse, Dead mouse yes. <laughs> and Devo. And Devo, you uh, are correct. Man. Three out of three. In 2008, McDonald's released a Happy Meal toy that looked suspiciously like Devo's trademarked Energy Dome hats. But who at McDonald's would even think about stealing. S Hamburg Live! <laughs> There were, um, there were photos recently in the press of Daft Punk because they always play in their um, helmets and one of them is now added to the li long list of people who look a bit like me. Oh. Yeah, because... Which is was added to the list of Jaws era Steven Spielberg, uh, Chris O'Dowd and a retired Belgian tennis player from the 70s. <laughs> and Alf's company. I look a bit like Alf. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I hate cats. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jake, you guys earlier this year played the Big Day Out. Yeah, that's right. That's where right. We got a photo of you guys at the Big Day Out. Yes! So, I heard you broke your leg on stage. Well, it wasn't on stage. It was like after a gig, basically. My friend Martin, he, was, he liked to party a lot and we had done a show in Brisbane. Everyone was getting really dry. There was a lot of injuries after this particular gig. Yep. Uh, and we all went out to celebrate and it ended up getting, we we're just getting hammered. Bro. So, is, and, that uh, like, is that like the MSO? It's a lot like the MSO. Yeah. 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 Same deal, right? And uh, anyway, we were in the club and Martin thought that he would put on Warren G's Regulate and then just oh tackle me out of nowhere. And he weighed at the time significantly more than me. So he broke my leg. Whilst oh. Like it just snapped 
clean into. Oh. And uh, we didn't actually even get to the hospital until midway through the next day, and we did a show that night. Oh. Oh. So, was that before or after you'd wrote the song Broken Leg? That was the part of the reason why that song got written. So you got a song out of it, so that's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. That's and then four weeks later I broke my hand. Oh. Yeah. I'm worried that you're not getting enough calcium. Yeah. I, think the time, I, think, I genuinely think at the time I wasn't. Have you got a, a song called Broken Leg? I do, yeah. And that was only part of the reason why you wrote it. Was part <laughs> of, it's a metaphor. Oh, it's a metaphor for <laughs> a broken arm. <laughs> Did Noel Gallagher just call you out of the blue? Is that true? Noel Gallagher, yes, that's true. I was just sitting in my mate's house one night. We were playing the PlayStation and I get a text, but the, the contact wasn't saved. It was just a number. Yep. So I was obviously you're a bit sceptical. And it said, yes, Kevin Bridges, Noel Gallagher here. Give me a call when you get a second. So I had a second. I was ready to yep. call back <laughs> straight away, but it would be a bit needy. So I thought I'd just speak to him. We paused the game, obviously. <laughs> and then I had to look get a bit of no, advice from my mate and he said I give it five, ten minutes but I'm just sitting staring at the phone and I just called him back <laughs> and he said oh bloody hell you must be busy and mm. that was quite quick and I was like oh, shit that's right. <laughs> <laughs> immediately thinks I'm a loser and he said that uh, Roger Daltrey gave, gave him my number so it's probably like the coolest conversation I've ever heard on the phone <laughs> so I, I sort of panicked it's, I mean it's the lead singer of BDI's brother on the phone yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I never said that to him. He was looking if I could do a charity gig, and uh, it was actually last week, so I had to say no, I'm in Australia oh, on tour. So man. I turned down Noel Gallagher to appear on Spicks and Specs. Which Who's is a, needy a now, Noel Gallagher? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was to see if I did this benefit show, so I had, to, I had to turn him down. But we kept in touch, he's a big musical hero of mine. And uh, hopefully I'll meet him when I go back, as soon as I land Is at Heathrow, <laughs> when I get a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> I brought you back a boomerang, no. How you doing? <laughs> OK, we'll move on to great composers. Everyone, hands on your buzzers. Your first question for one point. Have a listen to this piece by Bach and name it. Yes, Adam's team. It's, it's air, air on a G-string. Air, air on a G-string. You are correct, yes. Air on the G-string, yes. Yay! Next question for two points. According to a recent mathematical study, which number on 66 of Beethoven's music manuscripts is probably wrong and which of his possessions was blamed for the mistake? Oh, <laughs> yes. This Four side. and an abacus. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good guess. Not right. Uh, oh, oh. Metronome. It number. was the metronome. metronome mark. And what does the metronome? The tempo. Tempo, there you go. Yes, it is his metronome and the tempo marking. <laughs> Mathematicians looked at it and because it's too hard to play, mm. they thought his metronome, because it was a very early prototype metronome. Right. It was, was a cricket. He used to just bring it, <laughs> and put it on the table, and then we'd get cold, and somebody would go, why is this slowing down or speeding up? Whatever they do. Finally, <laughs> here are three 20th century composers. For three points, match Schoenberg, Reich and Debussy with the genres that they pioneered. Impressionist music, 12-tone and minimalism. Yes, Adam's team. Uh, Schoenberg was 12-tone, wasn't he? Well done. Yes, he was, yes. Mm -hmm. Debussy was impressionist. You are yes. correct. It was very... Uh, floral. <laughs> <laughs> Which leaves Reich as minimalism. That is correct. Three out of three. Well done. Yes. <laughs> OK, at the end of the first round, the scores are Adam, Wilmer and David on six points and Ella, Jake and Kevin are also on six points. Yeah. <laughs> round two is called Look What They've Done To My Song Mark. Teams have to listen to the songs being played here live and buzz in when they know it. And tonight your song's being played live by the Melbourne Scar Orchestra. Yeah. <laughs> first song when you're ready, guys. One, two... A one, two, three, four, one. Oh, yeah, my mom. I take it a bit by the below. Here we go. Bridge. Lollipop. It is my boy Lollipop. Yeah. Yeah. My little mini yeah. Next song when you're ready, guys. Oh. I'm up where I 
What was that one? It's the theme from Get Smart. You are correct. <laughs> 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 that was too much television. Okay, next song when you're ready. <laughs> It's got out of my head. Oh. <laughs> I'll throw it over if you guys don't know. Uh, Do you guys? It, is it Empire State of Mind? It is Empire Alicia State of Mind. Yes. <laughs> Jay Z and Alicia Keys. I think we all have our favourite member of the Melbourne Sky Orchestra, but mine is certain. My name's Josh Earl. Welcome to Spicks and Specs, the music quiz show whose papa was a Rolling Stone, or so my mum says, but I'm pretty sure it was just one of their roadies. <laughs> Can you please welcome your two team captains? She's my cherry pie, it's Ella Hooper. Oh. And he's been known to make a grown man cry, it's Adam Richard. <laughs> Ella's first team member tonight is a musician, a broadcaster and a journalist who once made an omelette for hip-hop's Dizzy Rascal. Don't push him if he's close to the eggs. It's the singer from Blue Juice, it's Jake Stone. <laughs> Ella's second team member is a comedian who once did a gig in a prison. And the ticket prices were outrageous. Four cigarettes. Oh. <laughs> Can you please welcome all the way from Scotland, it's Kevin Bridges. <laughs> now on to Adam's first team member tonight. In Fiji, in New Zealand, she was born and raised, studying violin in Boston with Donna DeLay. She's now with the MSO, where she's acting all cool, just playing some concerts and theatres and schools. It's the Fresh Princess of Bolero. It's Wilma Smith. <laughs> Adam's final team member is an Irish comedian who had a pet finding detective agency when he was only nine years old. So that would make him Sherlock Lost Dogs Holmes. Oh. <laughs> Please welcome David O'Doherty. <laughs> for coming tonight. Now, Wilma, you are the concert master for the MSO. Correct. What's a concert master? Concert master. <laughs> Funny yeah. you should ask. <laughs> uh, well, look, it's not as severe as it sounds, <laughs> although I have been known to be severe, but um, it's basically a lead violinist. So the violin 
they're the top then, is it? If you're the concert master, violin's the most important? No, no, no? Well, don't, don't tell that to the no. violist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh no one talks to the violist. <laughs> They, well, they play the tunes a lot of the time and they sit on the outside of the orchestra Ooh. usually and it's, it just happens to be the person who's on the conductor's left side and we do a lot of handshaking. You know, I sh have to shake hands with the conductors and the soloists. Is that because your section in the, the string section, unlike the wind and the brass section, there's not as much spit? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of saliva in the yeah, yeah, instrument. It, it's disgusting the further back you go. <laughs> I like to, whenever I'm watching an orchestra, I like to imagine everyone's playing a violin, but the double bass player is just really, really small. <laughs> <laughs> but you've also played with rock bands. You've been yes, you've played well, with Kiss. Well, the MSO has do, does, yeah. does quite a lot of those kinds of gigs. Kiss and Sting. And Sting. And meatloaf. Oh! oh. 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 Meatloaf? What is Two behind the hand that? meatloaf? Oh. Well, that wasn't one of my favourite gigs. Oh. What, what was that? Well, he's not very nice. Oh. And, and he's not very good. He's not very good. <laughs> he, he sounds edible, but he's not. Yeah. <laughs> when you played with meatloaf, he had some a weird request of you oh. in particular. Well, he wanted a violin smashed. I don't... Oh. I Look, I can't even remember what song it was in, but I said to our management, no way. You yeah. know, he's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> you said, I'll do anything for love, but I won't do that. <laughs> OK, let's get into round one. Your choices tonight are Electronica, Rumba, Grindcore and Great Composers. Okay. <laughs> uh, Ella, you can choose first. Uh, what about Electronica? You, uh, Blue Juice was a sort of hip-hop outfit before. Don't even you say... You, told <laughs> you say it that. like that, it sounds as bad as it actually was. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore that period of the past. Ignoring his forward. dirty hip-hop roots, let's go with that. Yeah. Do I have a say in this? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I just said Ella and Adam, so how is that supposed to make me feel? Uh, <laughs> what, do you, what do you reckon? <laughs> um, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Electronica. Electronica <laughs> for Ella's team. Adam, your team? Well, I, I really want to choose Grindcore, but... <laughs> what is Grindcore? It would frighten you. Uh, <laughs> so we'll go Great Composers. Great Composers for you. OK, we'll start with Electronica. Everyone, hands on your buzzers. Let's play Spicks and Specs. Your first question for one point. Which Sydney electronic duo said that their four-letter name should rhyme with Meow? <laughs> yes, Ella's team. Meow. It is Pinow. Yes, <laughs> Pinow. <laughs> Question, have a listen to this pioneering electronica work from 19... Lee, the guy on bongos who looks like he's in a disguise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the final song, guys. One, two, are you know what to do. Is it called one, two, you know what to do? <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? No. That's my favourite song by you guys. <laughs> We'll Yes, Ella's team. Song 2 by Blur. You are correct. Ah! Yes, song 2 by Blur. She's incredible at this. <laughs> Can you please thank the Melbourne Scar Orchestra? Yeah. Pack it all down. So at the end of that round, the scores are Adam, Wilmer and David on eight points, but in the leader, Ella, Jake and Kevin on nine points. Oh. This is the game we call Do You See What I See? Each team will be given a set of images which, when read correctly, will reveal the name of a popular song. Ella's team, you get to go first. And here is your first one. Tell me what you see. Right. Oh. Um, <laughs> Jessica Rowe. Jessica Rowe. Row, row, row. Your, your boat. boat! Yes, there you go. <laughs> row, 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 your boat. That was all her. 
<laughs> you could have picked a more boat-looking boat. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the red herring. It is a U-boat. So row, 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 U-boat. U-boat. Oh, oh, I even are above my head there. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Adam's team, here is your first one. Right. What do you see? A truck and Charmed yeah. and a Life magazine. Who are Charmed? Oh, Charmed is like a show about witches. Oh. <laughs> Shannon Doherty. Shannon Doherty and... Oh. oh, fine. Oh, it's a semi-trailer. Yes. So it's semi-charmed life. Yes, semi-charmed <laughs> life by Third Eye Blind. Ellie's team, here is your second one. What song do you see? The mice, <laughs> they look visually impaired, so that's three blind mice. For <laughs> <laughs> Wheat, and that's Lord on the end there, so yeah. uh, is it... Wheat, corn, mice, wheat. My sweet lord. My sweet lord. <laughs> my sweet lord. My sweet lord. Who is that? My sweet lord by George Harrison. Okay, Adam's team. Here is your second one. What right. song do you see? Um, there's a bar. There's George W. Bush and a oh, and a no, Volkswagen. Beetle. Uh, something yeah. Beetle. Well, I'll, I'll give uh, a bit more time. We're nearly there. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Kate Bush is making a comeback. Is it Barbushka? You are Bar correct. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Barbushka. He was wrong. Okay, Ella's team, here's your third one. What song do you see? <laughs> it's another rowing song? Or oh, Handsome Guy, Drink. Is that Pacino down the bottom? It is Pacino down the bottom. Confession. Who are these two guys? Thorn. Who is that? Is that the guy from Days of Our Lives yeah, or something? Yeah. One of them shows. Or one of those, Young and the Restless. <laughs> Uh -oh. uh, don't drink and row. Or you may have, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You may have or, to confess it. Say that loud. Or, Thorn, Gin, Alcin. That's not a song. What? <laughs> <laughs> say that loud. You're so close. Original Sin. Original Sin, oh, but in a sense. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I'll talk it through. So that's an or, and that's yeah. Ridge from Bold and the Beautiful. And can I just say I've never heard the song Original Sin? But in excess. It just sounds like a song. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now Adam's team. Here is your third one. What do you see? There's a pan. <laughs> what is the Ow. Come on. The second thing. The yeah. second thing is stars at night time, I think. AU is the chemical gold. Sim symbol for gold. Okay. And so that's Eric Banner. Gold. Oh. oh. Eric Gold uh. Banner. The, oh, hang on. Yeah, it's yep. the Stars, stars Pan, Pan Gold, Gold Banner. Banner. It is! Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. The American oh, I mean, oh, I have finally discovered what my one true talent is. <laughs> and it has no practical applications <laughs> in the world. <laughs> At the end of that round, the scores are Adam, Wilmer and David on 11 points, but in the lead still are Ella, oh. Jake and Kevin on 12 points. Oh. <laughs> Round four is called View from a Fridge. We'll bring in our fridge covered in word magnets and you have 45 seconds to unjumble them and reveal four famous song titles. Only the correct combination will use all the words. Now, Kevin, you're going to be unjumbling for Jake and Ella, so please come over to the fridge. <laughs> Here you go. Just before you start, we'll see what's in the fridge today. Oh, we have a, we have a Beck beer. Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> So we'll put that in there. Is we'll... that uh, plastic food we've got as well? It's the ABC. Shush. OK. <laughs> and here are your words and your time starts now. Uh, OK. Um, Donald, where's your balls? Great balls, <laughs> great balls, balls of fire. fire. So get great balls of fire going. Well, I get Donald, where's your trousers? No, balls. no. <laughs> yes. No time for gags. Great balls of fire. Donald, Donald where's your trousers? Thousands. There we go. Nice. Then great balls of fire, you said. What else? There we go. Underneath hand your clothes. In okay, listen to that. Hand in pocket, Will's hand. Well, there is no hand, damn it. Um, hand, no, there's hand. 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 My hand. hand. Oh. One hand, hand in my hand pocket. Hand in pocket. Right. Wow. And then underneath, my, underneath, my, underneath, underneath your, my, clothes. your clothes. That's by Shakira. So it's got to be hand in underneath my pocket. Your or yeah. Hand in my pocket. Yeah. Oh, so it's there. It's so it's there. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you've got. <laughs> Donald Wears Your Trousers by Andy Stewart. You also got Great Balls of Fire by Jerry Lee Lewis. You got Underneath Your Clothes by Shakira and... Everybody knows that song called My, surely. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, sure Kevin, I will give Scotland, you Hand In My Pocket oh. by Alanis Morissette. Please get up, four out of four. That's yeah. Kevin. <laughs> OK, David, you'll be unjumbling for Wilma and Adam, so please welcome David O'Doherty. Here are your words. 
You have 45 seconds. You're I'm very limbering. It's good. Okay. Yeah. And your time starts now. Okay. Oh, buttered ring. No, that's not a song. Um, <laughs> Bald Mountain. Night on Bald Mountain. Uh, that is a real one. The okay. Night. Uh, Night. Yes. Mountain okay. Bald. Work on other ones. I'll um, find this. Yeah. Oh, please move the finger away from I, the. What other I forgot bit. to say was I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On. Next one. Uh, I got F the uh, butted finger. It's got to be ring on finger. It's got to be something that's ring. <laughs> what uh, what's what's gladiator? What song has got gladiators in the gladiators. title? The oiled gladiators. <laughs> the buttered gladiators. What? The oiled and buttered gladiators <laughs> ring. <laughs> and that's the film I saw once. That's okay. <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> Well, I got ring finger. The yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, yeah. oh my god. The one you got right was uh, Night oh. on Bald Mountain by Masorsky. So well done from the Fantasia. That was so easy. <laughs> it was so easy. The other ones you didn't get right were Entry of the Gladiators. Entry by, of the oh. Gladiators. Entry of the Gladiators oh, by Julius Kuchik. The other one is a Chuck Mead song called She Got the Ring and I Got the Finger. <laughs> And the other one is Oiled and Buttered by Paolo Apollo Negri. So, oh. one out of four, but still, we're going to have David Adocherty, everyone. I'm so sorry. So, after this round, the scores are Adam, Wilmer and David on 12 points, but in the lead are Ella, Jake and Kevin on 16 points. Oh. It's time for the final countdown. Teams, hands on your buzzers. One point for a correct answer, one point off for an incorrect answer. And your questions start now. In her 1985 hit single, what is Grace Jones a slave to? <laughs> yes, the Ellison. rhythm. The rhythm, the rhythm is correct. Right? Yes. <laughs> In the movie High Society, Bing Crosby and Louis Armstrong sing the duet Now You Has What? <laughs> yes, Adam's team. Swing? Now You Has Jazz. Jazz. Oh, uh, the other one. <laughs> have a listen to this and name the song. Labyrinth, come in. Yes, Adam's team. Oh, it's Labyrinth. <laughs> and what's the song called? <laughs> What's the name of it? I, I don't, it was so early. I, it had barely started. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, no. Don't Do you know. get points for oh, that? Okay. Do you know it? Is it Earthquake? It is Earthquake, earthquake. by yeah. Labyrinth, featuring Tiny Temper. Yes, well done. <laughs>